Hi everyone, and welcome to a new French lesson video. Um, I've done one in the past rather recently, uh, but it wasn't exactly beginner friendly, so today I wanted to make a new um, French lesson, but more suited to uh, the ones that do not really speak any French at the moment or forgot what they've learned in the past. So this is uh, the video for it. I'm gonna teach you some basics of French language, basically everything regarding greetings and also um, if you need to ask something to someone in the street, for example, um, I will um, teach you a couple of um, phrases, sentences you can say to ask, for example, where you want to go and uh, that kind of stuff, okay? So, uh, first of all, bonjour. <laughs> Donc, bonjour à tous. Uh, bonjour means hello, good morning, hi. <laughs> so yeah, you've got bonjour, um, which is something you can say to basically anyone that you either know or don't know. Or you can say um, salut, 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 which is more like a hello than a good morning, you know. So bonjour would be good morning, and or good day. Uh, literally, it's good day, bonjour, and uh, salut would be something like hello. Um, we don't really have a, a hi or something. Um, close to the meaning of hi in French, though um, some people, when they know each other, can also say coucou, 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 <laughs> which is, oh yeah, something um, close to hi in English, okay? So you've got either bonjour, salut, coucou, or basically saying hi, hey, you know, um, so that's the very first thing. Then you can say, how are you? So for how are you, you can say, comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Donc, how, comment, literally. Or, um, yeah, are you, uh, ça va? Um, which is not the literal translation, are you? How are you? And ça va? Comment ça va? Uh, ça va and how you, are you are not meaning the same thing exactly if you take the words literally, but the whole meaning of the sentence is the same. How are you? Comment ça va? Or comment vas-tu? How are you? Comment vas-tu? Comment ça va? Then someone could be asking you, um, comment tu t'appelles? What's your name? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? What's your name? <laughs> Comment tu t'appelles? What's your name? And to that you could be answering Je m'appelle My name is And then add your name Okay? Je m'appelle Your name <laughs> Okay? And at the end um, you can ask to the person, et toi? What about you? Et toi? Et toi? <laughs> and the person would also give them his or her name. And then you could be saying, enchanté. Uh, basically, it means uh, I'm very happy to meet you, or um, happy to meet you. Enchanté. Depending if you're uh, a man or a woman, you would say Enchanté um, et with the E with the accent at the end or Enchanté with E with the accent at the end plus another E. So um, yeah, there are a couple of words that have uh, two versions depending on whether you're uh, a man or a woman saying the sentence. So, enchanté, I would be adding an extra E at the end, since I'm a woman. Donc voilà, enchanté. Enchanté de vous rencontrer. 
very happy to, to meet you, happy to meet you. Enchanté de vous rencontrer. Um, vous, you, rencontrer, meet. So, enchanté de vous rencontrer. Happy to meet you. Pleased to meet you. That's it for the greetings. Before going on to the next part, I wanted also to add that in French, um, if you ever talk with a French person, they often add um, the sound uh, between some words in the sentences or between the sentences that they say. It's an hesitation mark. And this is something that many French people add Uh, when they are speaking without even thinking about it and it can get tricky to understand um, <laughs> just did it, yeah but it can be tricky to understand whole sentences because of these additional sounds which are not linked to what's being said, you know for example, uh, I've in the past uh, discussed with Japanese people and They have a tendency to add ma in between the words and sentences they say, which is very confusing at first because uh, I've talked with them in English and they would add ma very often. And once you know that it's just a hesitation mark, you know that whenever there are ma or uh, <laughs> added in whatever the person is saying, you know that. This is not really part of a word and you just put it to the side and know it's not relevant. <laughs> so know that uh, for a French person, uh, is something you can hear often, but it's not really anything, you know, it's not a word, it's just a hesitation mark, okay? So, also before moving on to more questions and answers, um, I'm just gonna give you the translation for yes and no <laughs> because these are basics that you should be needing at I think too so yes is oui 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 and uh, no is non 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 so oui is rather different than yes but no and no Are very close. So um, that's it for these two. Now um, let's imagine that you have arrived in France and you need to um, figure how to go to a certain place. Let's say you have a reservation on your phone or anything and you have no idea how to go there and for some reason you can go check on your phone on the internet how to go there or anything. So you have to ask help to someone, okay? You need to get the attention of someone and for that you can say Excusez-moi <laughs> Pardon, monsieur, madame <laughs> So basically you will be saying to the person Excuse me, sorry, um, sir So yeah, um, for that you could be saying Excusez-moi, pardon uh, to get the attention uh, or either you can say Madame, monsieur <laughs> to call the person in the street, okay? And that's how you get the first contact with the person and it works. Or the person will just try not to look at you and move quicker. Either way, um, you will get someone at some point, but yeah. I think in France there are many people who feel like their English level is not really good and sometimes they get very shy about uh, speaking in English and sometimes that's why when you try to talk talk to a French person in the street, they are like not saying a word or feel like they don't want to be here because <laughs> many French people just are not comfortable with their level of English, you know, they think that they don't speak English very well and so that's why sometimes it's hard to get them to speak to you. <laughs> But, uh, still, here are some questions you can try in French to um, get Uh, the answer you are looking for regarding uh, the place you want to visit, okay? So first you got the attention of the person, you said oh, Pardon, excusez-moi, monsieur, madame uh, So you got the attention, the person is looking at you and is here to help, okay? So now you can say Parlez-vous français, parlez-vous anglais? 
so uh, you are asking the person do you speak French, do you speak English just to know who you are talking with because in Paris there are many people who are not French of course and there are also um, French people who do speak English or French or other languages which can be very helpful to um, communicate more easily with the person ok donc um, so <laughs> parlez-vous français do you speak French parlez-vous français parlez-vous français or do you speak English parlez-vous anglais parlez-vous anglais So yeah, uh, depending on whether you really want to try hard uh, to speak in French with them, you can try parlez-vous français. Or if you feel like your French is not strong enough and you want to switch to English as fast as possible, you can say parlez-vous anglais. So yeah, depending on the answer, it's gonna be either in French or in English. Um, sometimes the person will ask you d'où venez-vous, uh, which means uh, where are you from? D'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? So, um, yeah, that's something that can happen. And to that, you can answer um, Je viens de your country. <laughs> Je viens d'Angleterre. Je viens d'Allemagne. Je viens de Suède. I come from England. I come from uh, Germany. I come from Sweden. Depending on where you are from, you can answer that. Je viens de d'Allemagne, d'Autriche, d'Espagne, du Portugal, des états unis <laughs> Donc oui. Ok, so once you have clarified either if you want to speak to the person in French or in English, depending on what the person uh, can talk to you with, <laughs> depending on the language the person knows, um, you can now ask, pouvez-vous m'aider s'il vous plaît? J'ai besoin de votre aide. Um, basically, uh, can you help me please? I need your help. Pouvez-vous m'aider s'il vous plaît? J'ai besoin de votre aide. Pouvez-vous m'aider s'il vous plaît? J'ai besoin de votre aide. Pouvez-vous m'aider s'il vous plaît? J'ai besoin de votre aide. Um, so basically, uh, can you help me please? Um, I need your help. S'il vous plaît is please in French. Um, can you help me please? I need your help. Okay? So um, once the person said oui, <laughs> yes, oui, je peux vous aider, yes, I can help you, <laughs> ou either, uh, oui, je peux essayer, yes, I can try, oui, je peux essayer, oui, je peux vous aider. Oui, je peux essayer. Yes, I can help you. Yes, I can try. You can either, well, if you need to get to a certain place, you can um, show your phone and say to the person, Je veux aller ici. J'aimerais aller ici. Uh, which means I want to go there or I would like to go there. Um, so that's a thing you can say and it's the easiest, I think. You show them your phone and you say, J'aimerais aller ici. Oh, I would like to go there. J'aimerais aller ici. J'aimerais aller ici. Pouvez-vous m'aider? I would like to go there. Can you help me? And then if the person is starting to speak um, too quickly or if you just do not get what the person is saying, you can say um, Pouvez-vous parler plus lentement s'il vous plaît? Can you speak more slowly please? Pouvez-vous parler plus lentement s'il vous plaît? Pouvez-vous parler plus Lentement, s'il vous plaît. Can you speak more, more slowly, please? Or you can also say, pouvez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît? Which means, can you repeat, please? Pouvez-vous répéter? Pouvez-vous parler plus lentement, s'il vous plaît? So that the person can repeat what they are saying to you, or just slow down, so you can understand the words they are saying to you. If you still do not understand what the person is saying, you can say Je ne comprends pas. Je suis désolé, je ne comprends pas. Je suis désolé, je ne comprends pas. Which means I'm sorry, I don't understand. Or um, 
je suis désolée, je ne comprends pas ce que vous dites. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're telling me. So yeah, uh, je suis désolée, je ne comprends pas ce que vous dites. So um, that's a thing. You can also say um, if needed, je ne sais pas. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Um, yeah. Also, the person asks you if you speak French, you can say un peu, un petit peu, uh, which means uh, a little bit. Uh, if you've just learned a couple of phrases in French, sentences, and that, uh, well, you can try to understand the sentence, the answer, uh, but it's, if it's getting too hard, you can say je, je parle un petit peu le français. I speak a little bit of French. Mm. Je parle seulement un petit peu de français. I only speak a little bit of French. So that the person knows that uh, he or she has to use simple words and speak slowly for you to understand. Donc, je parle un tout petit peu le français. Uh, je parle un tout petit peu le français. Je parle un petit peu le français. Je parle un tout petit peu le français. So yeah, uh, I only speak a little bit of French. Um, also, to get the person to repeat what they just said, you can say pardon, uh, pardon, pardon, which means uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you repeat please, but without saying can you repeat please. <laughs> so yeah, pardon and pardon, excusez-moi can mean both uh, I'm sorry, but pardon as a question is like I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat what you just said? Um, so yeah. Once you get uh, the answer you were looking for, you can say to the person Merci, merci beaucoup. Or uh, Merci pour votre aide. Merci beaucoup pour votre aide. Uh, merci is thank you. Merci. 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 And merci beaucoup means Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. And finally, merci pour votre aide. Merci pour votre aide. Merci beaucoup pour votre aide. Thank you for your help. Thank you very much for your help. Merci beaucoup pour votre aide. And to that, the person may tell you back uh, de rien. Uh, you're welcome. Or uh, merci à vous. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, they can uh, flip back the, the thank you to you, or they can say de rien. And then of course, bonne journée, passe une bonne journée, have a nice day, have a good day, bonne journée, passe une bonne journée, passe une bonne journée, or um, à bientôt, à une prochaine fois. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> uh, till the next time. À une prochaine fois. Literally mean uh, till the next time. And uh, à bientôt uh, means uh, later. Yeah. See you soon. À bientôt. À bientôt. À bientôt. À bientôt. <laughs> Au revoir. Goodbye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Uh, we also have uh, bonne soirée et bonne nuit. Bonne soirée. Bonne soirée. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Which means uh, good evening and good night. So yeah, these are a couple of sentences which can be helpful if you uh, um, go to France one day and need to know where to get to a specific location. Uh, but yeah, 
you may not understand the answer because I have not really given you any vocabulary to understand the answer but this can be um, the topic for our next video if you want um, yeah now what we can do to finish off is to count up until 100 in French I think in the last video I stopped at 40 uh, I was um, counting from 1 to 40 in both French and English and this time I want to do it but only in French and I will write down um, both French number and English number so you know which is which, okay? and that way we can go to um, 100 okay I, I recall I've had a comment saying that oh you stop before the numbers start to get weird <laughs> because it is true that in French um, 80 for example is set uh, 80 which is funny because literally it is 420 um, which is 80 which is true but it's very weird to um, say 80 that way uh, same we have um, 70 which is 70 and which literally means 6010 so yeah um, that's a thing and funny funnily enough um, and I think it's in Belgium and uh, Switzerland they do not say 70 they say 70 which is basically um, more close to uh, 70 than uh, 70 is so yeah that's a thing uh, I'm gonna go up to 100 and I will try to be rather calm and delicate and um, slow maybe I will whisper the whole thing so that hopefully some of you will find it very relaxing and helpful to get to sleep okay so um, let's start okay Sans doute. 
Bonsoir.